All right, so let us begin. Oh, really? So, off to a strong start. I wonder if this is going to be similar to Faith at all. The Unholy Trinity, which we played last week, in the, in the week and a little bit of the week prior. I know I, I keep talking about that game, but it was a very cool game, and I really liked it. That's part of why I've wanted to do horror games tonight specifically, because I'm, like, still hungry for more, like, spooky weird shit. So, um, I have no idea what to expect here. Let me close a few quick things. That. Alright, cool. I've got a few things on my phone I'm, I'm clicking through real quick. Okay, all right, we're good. All right, so, though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment, not contemptment, contentment, in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals, I know they are all articulations of a deeper material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call Gasper's Zone. I have everything I need in my submersive lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out of the holy seabed, where the, spirits, the spirit blew life into the into the increate mantle. It's an interesting word. I have lit the path my s with the submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. I'm gonna need both if I'm going to do my research. All right, well, um, we have no nets. We have no oxygen either. So we can instantly head out and just die, <laughs> probably. Um, first, I wanna check the research. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, what about the mirror? Oh, sure. I'm looking pretty good. Alright, good stuff. Head out. <laughs> Before I leave, I want to make sure- yeah, alright. Let's refill the tank. Boop! Build it up. Get the nets. Got three of them. More samples before I begin my studies. So we shall head out. Even with the lights, it's kind of dark. As long as they're on, I'm sure it'll be fine. The entrance back into the lab is the furthest spot south. Okay. Never picked up the name. The name is a weird one. Gonna find some good specimens, probably. Live specimens will try to evade me, but don't give up hope as they cannot swim too far away. If I sift at one position, it'd be a waste to sift there again until later. So we can sift silt, check our inventory, throw a net, etc. One life sample via my net, and maybe two samples from sifting. That would be sufficient. Alright, here we go. Inventory is blank. Uh, sift silt. Boop. Nothing here. Okay. Let's go one spot north. Found a post Lapsarian Adamite skull. Quite old. Might reveal something. Study when I get back. Okay. Let's, like, go a little bit further. Let's go, like... Can't go any further than that. Oh, we can't, like, turn around. That's a little bit weird. Nothing interesting. Okay. Oxygen levels are looking pretty okay. Haven't found any live specimens yet. Yeah, it's like, you really can't go too far, can you? I was hoping to, like, orient my camera or something. Sifting through some silt. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Thrilling. Thrilling stuff. What are we playing now? So this indeed is Water Womb World. It sounds like this researcher, who is, like, very religious, is trying to find, the like, the origin of... of creation and, like, of, of evolution by 
diving deep into the bottom of the ocean and looking for live specimens. So we're sifting through silt. Just kind of poking, poking through stuff. We found a dive mask, an older make by the looks of it, it says. Mr. Blackbird, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. He has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back in the lab. So that's our second specimen. I don't know if it's a live specimen. Also, we found no obvious things. And, like, there's such a small space to look in. Oh, wait. Is that something? No, I think that's just, that's just more kind of sifting... Sifting sands and such. So I'm just kind of poking randomly. We've got a decent bit, bit of oxygen left, but we'll need to wrap up in a bit to refill our stiff. And I still got three nets to play with. Yeah, I wish I could, like, rotate my camera to see things. With which to see things. Also, it occurs to me I'm covering my oxygen meter. Whoops. I mean that. Um... to grab these things. Can I, like, move this? Um, it's... I, I think we might... I don't know. I think I might just leave this covered up for now. It's a little bit annoying. I'll just move that up so it's not quite as weird. I'll just... It'll just be up to me, then, to indicate to you, dear viewer, when the oxygen meter is running low. It's like... Well, it'll be obvious, hopefully. So, so far we got a few things here, but again, no live samples. Oh, uh, there we go. Poking randomly. Same, honestly, same. Poking randomly and... Hope you find the jackpot. One of my favorite euphemisms is in the Pink Floyd song, Run Like Hell. When he says, um... If they catch you in the backseat trying to pick her locks... They're gonna send you back to London in a cardboard box. I always like that. If they catch you in the backseat trying to pick her locks. So it's like lock picking. <laughs> so sexy, right? <laughs> so sexy. Deer viewer. Um, that means if, the, if you happen to be a deer and you are viewing my channel, I should probably get back so I can refill the tank. Boop. Head back out. Presumably we can do that an infinite number of times. Put the mask on the human skull. Yeah, there we go. Put, the, put it on the skull, and then begin the incantation. Nothing possibly bad could happen. I'm actually curious, what if I just throw the net now? Whoosh. Then we lose the net, yeah. So, I guess I'm like looking for a sign of a fishy. Or, or some kind of thing, but we haven't seen anything yet. I keep thinking if I sift the silt, it'll like unearth something, and it'll start swimming around. But... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I saw something. I shouldn't have moved away. What was that? I should go slowlier. Right here. So you gotta, you gotta move... Very slowly and deliberately. I was just saying, I need a live, live sample. Crap. I, you gotta be fast. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw net. Got him! Check out the specimen. So we got what we need. Time to go back to the lab and begin our research. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. In MS Paint Redemption, we absolutely could. If you got the points, we can make it happen. It says, I'm feeling good about this. I can feel the divine working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, original temptation, was that God opening the mind too, he asks. I'm alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and a connectedness to all things. The fish in the skull. I'm thinking maybe put the fish, yeah, it, as like a, like fill the skull with water and use it as a, um, as like a, like an aquarium of sorts. Put the mask on too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The human being was made in the image of, a, of God, he says, a divine mirror of creation that was made in prayer. This guy seems like he's really all about this, which, you know, good for him. 
feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely on my own. Well, anyway, I should get to work. Let's get to work. Research. So we got an Adamite skull. Person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, he says. So it's super old. They live to be very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. It's okay, I've got plenty of degeneration for all of us, because I'm quite the degenerate. Yeah, I, well, it's the person or the, pro the protagonist seems like they're very religious. I suspect, though, that will soon evolve into other things. One of the pillars of Aqua Edenic studies is that early man lived underwater. Alright. Countless generations have passed since such a time and the form... And the form the sons of Adam take now is very different. Near the state of grace, he says. Look at the next sample. Oh, actually, I was hoping to, like, read more of, of the stuff. Rubber skirted dive mask. Okay. With various Christograms, biblical inscriptions. Interesting. So he's not the first one to explore here. This area is quite remote. Whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by some kind of church. Divisions in the, pup in the papal conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were the explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? What did they discover? Take a look at the next sample. And it's a fishy. A fishy that is ancient, dating 10,000 years ago. A vivisection. Vivisection yielded fish fed on native coral forms. Okay. This might have been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs. I, I don't know what half these things that they're referring to are. And from the theory of Gasper's zone, around an Edenic ground, but how? Suspension of space-time, it's just hella old, basically. Biological deceleration of the aging process, maybe. Need more research. Oh. That was quite the noise. The hell was that? Was it a whale? Maybe bigger? Let's go check outside. Well, let's refill our nets. Oh. Okay, let's just head out then. The lights are out? Something stirs in me. Even in this darkness, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's not the same reading this language, reading these words, and not hearing a synthesized Intellivision voice reading it for us. Can't sift the silt. Can't throw nets. All I can do is feel around in the darkness. It's a squid friend. And they have an old, they have like a face. Throw a net. Throw, throw a Pokeball at it. Sift silt. I beseech thee, it says. Your forebearers abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. Walk a contrary path. It says, get the fuck out of here or you'll exchange one life for another. Die as a man or join God in full flesh. Oh my. Oh my. Throw a Pokemon at him. That's right, Blackbird. When in doubt, try to capture it. You hear the voice of your god is to return origin word back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. Some kind of messenger. I beseech thee. Was that an angel? Their visage matches the description of the deciphered Genesis Apocryphon. To see such sights, can it be possible? You like how this guy just ignored what the dude was saying? He was like, wow, this is cool as hell. Ignoring what the squid man was saying, which was, get the fuck out. Full flesh in God. I can't postpone my search any longer. I must find the truth. Gotta get more samples. All right. Get them nets. Get them oxygens. Bam. Head on out. Two live specimens and one in the silt. 
I barely need this oxygen underwater anymore. Wait a second, wait a second. I feel as if I barely need this oxygen underwater anymore. I'm closer than ever. Hold up. How are we looking? Um, we're looking not great, actually. Just ellipses. We look like our eyes are kind of sunken in a little bit. So we will sift the silt, but we're looking for fishies. Keep looking. We're primarily looking for fishies. With some... Some silting. Oh, there we go. We got a coral brain thing. So the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fishies. I should collect it. Our dude is speaking less deliberately. Like, he's, he's speaking more, like, simple words. He's like, I'm gonna collect it, dot, dot, dot. He's like, it's like he's lost some confidence. Some of his mojo. Oh, there was something. Which way did he go? Throw net. Hiya! Got him! This dude might get got. It would not shock me, Ryan. I mean, we, when it comes to games like this, very rarely do they go well for the protagonist, or all of humanity for that matter. So that was one fishy. One fish, two fish, three fish, man squid. As the, uh, as the nursery rhyme goes. Also, interesting how nothing is trying to run away from us. The first time we had to like chase them down. Now they're just like, eh, hey, who fucking cares? Gotta go back to the lab and begin my research. It's interesting, swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort for me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, seeing God in the luminous dark, the undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I know- I can know God, and I will know God. I'm sure this hubris is not gonna come back to bite this guy, right? Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. A, be a beautific lightness has entered my, li my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at the moment, I am learning the ultimate truth. There's nothing to do but press on. Yeah, we're looking not the bestest right now. Um, research. Deathless fish. Uh, when examined with the previous one, fish are, fish age exceeds previous estimations, born sometime in Jurassic period. Cellular growth abnormal, almost completely still, stomach contents reveal more native coral forms. DNA contains proto-human proteins. What about proteins? Got an MS Paint challenge from Kiso. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that once we wrap up with this game. This game probably is not very long. This fish is even older. Almost impossible. A link between this life form and our own. This fish does not have eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean. But blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These lack that capacity completely. More of that odd curl in the gut. What does it mean? There must be something. All of a sudden, I feel... Well, but anyway, deathless fish number two. Unknown to morphology, 50% of sample consists of coral polyp. Age again exceeds multiple geologic periods. Secretion of unknown stone substance. DNA contains proto-human proteins. Impossibly old. Ancient of days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan, imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. So this is the red coral. Uh, so unknown, some kind of error, studded with proto-human neurons, hyper-capable of creating consciousness. Field. Consciousness field. Womb of God, and then a bunch of errors. Looks like a brain to me, dude. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? Seems greater than that, like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so. The light. Another angel? Uh, if you want to call it that, buddy. I can feel something. Uh. Oh, wait, no, return to lab. Oh. Oh, we can't return to lab. Okay, we can just see this. I cannot move. He was saying how the fish 
are blind and our eyesight is failing us. Every time we check the mirror, it's like our eyes get darker and darker. Name drop. Water womb world. Looks like the meats. The meat creatures. Can I go forward? Oh. And then nothing else. Womb. Hunger. I am hunger. Go and join angels. Join God. Ooh. Check the mirror. I am. Oh, look at our oxygen, by the way. No need for the oxygen. Punish nets. No need for those either. We can only head out. Oh boy, our hands are growing things. We must find it. What do we seek? Feed on coral. Delicious. More. I hunger. I need more. Our hands are getting darker. Are we joining these ancients? He's just like me, for real, for real. How long does it- how far does it go? Oh my. Is this the water womb? Can I- Oh, that's it. That's the end of the game. Okay. That was pretty short. I was actually hoping there was more meat to that one, you know? It's, I was hoping that there'd be more weirdness. But, um... It's quick and quick and dirty. That's the way I like it. Good job, games. Um, can I exit? It was the butthole. The butthole and the womb have a lot of commonalities.